A business built around the image of Donald Trump that in reality is bleeding cash like it's a rare Trump steak, consumed by headlines of criminal misconduct tied to illegal backroom deals and flooded by a barrage of lawsuits. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee has had a long and sordid business career, and what we're witnessing with Truth Social harkens back to a specific chapter in that career, one more than two decades ago. As we speak, Trump's accountants warn the social media company is on borrowed time due to huge money problems, leading people who cover finance to say stuff like this. And what you have is arguably the most hyped up, wildly trading new stock that we've seen in a heck of a long time. Meanwhile, just today, a pair of big investors in the company pleaded guilty to insider trading. And Trump's own company is suing two of the co-founders, both former contestants on The Apprentice. Andy, you're fired. Wes, you're fired also. But flash back to the 90s and swap social media for the Atlantic City boardwalk, and you'll see some similarities. The headlines then were about Trump's casinos bleeding money. In the past few months, it has seemed that the clock was always ticking for Donald Trump. This is deal after deal soured. The latest focus of attention, the mammoth Taj Mahal Hotel and Gambling Casino in Atlantic City. It is big, it is glitzy, and it is in a financial hole. The future president found himself consumed by lawsuits over everything from unpaid bills to his own bondholders upset over allegations of fraud even over who owned the sign outside his Taj Mahal casino. And yes, there were also legal concerns about shady deals. Through it all, the IRS found one Trump casino broke anti-money laundering rules a whopping 106 times in its first year and a half of operation, while another casino admitted it broke the law when Trump's father bought three and a half million dollars in gaming chips he never planned to gamble in what amounted to an illegal de facto loan to his son. And just like he's doing with True Social, in the midst of it all, Trump headed to Wall Street to cash in. Donald Trump is gambling. Investors want to bet on him again. This is just the right time, and it's the right time for this industry. The stock offering and a related junk bond deal are raising nearly a quarter of a billion dollars and yet the lesson from Trump's time in Atlantic City is that for him, things turned out okay. As the New York Times notes, Trump put up little of his own money, shifted personal debts to the casinos, and collected millions of dollars in salary, bonuses, and other payments. And the burden of his failures fell on investors and others who had bet on his business acumen. The Times found that stock and bondholders lost more than $1.5 billion. So will the lessons from Truth Social be the same? I'm joined now by Dan Primack, business editor for Axios, who specializes in the kind of market manipulations that we are seeing around Truth Social. Uh, Dan, great to have you. We have the, the former president. He sells a lot of stuff these days. There's golden sneakers, Bibles. How do you see Truth Social as an offering? I see it's kind of the stock version of the golden sneakers, right? It's not a very good company. Uh, Truth Social, for those who have never seen it, it is basically Twitter that's been reskinned. It's got basically the exact same functionality, nothing more, a little bit less. And But most importantly, it doesn't have much of a business. Last year, it lost $58 million, which isn't that big a deal for a new company. The problem is it only made $4 million, and it made less money in the fourth quarter than it made in the third. So, I will, Trump is really good at screwing over other people before himself when his business dealings go south. Uh, here, we saw Trump lose a billion dollars on paper, at least in one day, though. So ultimately, I wonder if this venture tanks, would it actually have negative consequences for him? Uh, probably not. I mean, yes, he lost a billion dollars in one day, which was earlier this week when the financials came out. But right now, he's up $3.8 billion from where he was basically eight days ago. That, that's, that's pretty good for him. I mean, if you think about this, his, again, his stake right now in Truth Social is worth $3.8 billion on a company that makes $4 million in revenue a year. It, it's, it's a multiple. Somebody asked me the other day where it should be trading. I mean, less, like way less. You don't, you don't see this sort of multiple in any other company in any other industry. I mean, Trump does have this long record of putting his name on things that already exist in the market from stakes to vodka. And this current value aside, I know you kind of alluded to this, 
Is there anything innovative about True Social, considering it does cater to a different audience? Or is it entirely just Twitter repackaged, even considering that? It's Twitter repackaged for a MAGA audience. Now, there's a little bit of interesting stuff on the back end in the sense of one of their big things is they don't want to rely on big tech companies like Amazon or Microsoft, who are the ones who host most traditional tech platforms and apps. So they're trying to do it without those companies. But that's nothing that a consumer or a user would ever see. So no, there, there's not really. The only really innovative thing, and it's not innovative per se, is they've decided, despite being a public company, they are not going to collect or report basic user data to investors how many downloads there have been, uh, monthly active users, things like that, that whether it be Twitter or Meta or Snap or anybody else report regularly. Here today you have these two investors in Trump media uh, in the insider trading case. They, they pleaded guilty after Trump was just found liable in the New York civil fraud case for grossly overvaluing his assets to get loans while undervaluing them for tax purposes. You go all the way back, as we mentioned, to his casino ventures and his hotel failing in Atlantic City at really the expense of so many hardworking people. How do you see all of these data points of questionable ethics and financial failures speaking to the kind of businessman that we now know Donald Trump to be? I, I want to separate a little bit. These insider trading charges, and there was actually three charges. Two guys pled guilty today. One more is going to fight this in court. These charges were first brought last summer, long before Truth Social went public. They are separate from Trump. In fact, they invested in this so-called blank check or SPAC that, that Truth Social merged with. It is notable, though, that when most companies, young tech companies, go public, they don't typically have a slew of lawsuits around them, even if it's not specific to the founder, to the CEO, or in this case, the majority shareholder, which Trump is. There's just this air of litigation which, which re revolves around this. The two co-founders you showed there from The Apprentice, who aren't the inciting trading guys, these are different, they sued Trump first, and now Trump is suing them back. There is litigation with the former CEO of the black, blank check company that has gone back and forth. So there's just an enormous amount of litigation. And honestly, in the end, Truth Social, when we look at its uh, financials, it's probably going to spend as much on lawsuits as it is on anything else. Yeah, we'll have to see how that math adds up. Um, Dan, we know that you'll be on it uh, when we see all the numbers. Dan Primack, thank you. Thank you.